remember for many years I'd been praying for my oldest brother to be saved. I'd fasted and prayed. He was sort of the black sheep of the family. In spite of my prayers, it seemed that he got worse instead of better. I'd always prayed, God, save him. But I heard the Lord challenging me to do something about it. He was telling me that I had the authority. So I rose up off of that bed with my Bible in one hand, lifted up the other hand to heaven, and said, in the name of Jesus, I break the power of the devil over my brother's life. And I claim his salvation. You see, I'd given the order. Now you remember Romans 5, 17? If you don't remember, just turn there real quick and read it. Turn there real quick. Romans 5, 17. For if by one man's offense death reigned, not talking about physical death, talking about spiritual death, reigned by one, much the more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Another translation shall, said, said, shall reign as kings in life by one, Jesus Christ. I'd given the order. You see, when a king gives an order, he knows that it's going to be carried out because he's in authority. The devil tried to tell me that my brother would not be saved. I remember I, uh, I went my way and I uh, went on to another meeting, teaching in the morning time at 10 o'clock. In the afternoon, I lay down to rest a little bit, woke up, was thirsty, got up, left my bedroom, went across the living room into the kitchen, got me a glass of water, just as a step back in the living room, but just like, as a, just like somebody right there with me said, oh, come on now. You, you don't uh, think old Dub will ever be saved, do you? I just stopped right there, dead in my tracks, and from the inside of me, way down in here something, my spirit began to laugh, and it just bubbled up till it come out my mouth. And I said, no, Mr. Devil, I, I don't think that. I never have thought I know it. Because, you see, I've taken the name of Jesus and broke your power over him. Amen. 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 Same thing happened two days later on the same spot. I said the same thing to him. The next Sunday he was saved. Amen. Now, he didn't always walk in the light of it, but thank God we've got him walking better now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? 